Hey guys, I'm having yet another issue with this Rode Wireless Go, and, and it has to do with interference again. Um, this thing's been plagued with interference issues from the very beginning. Uh, this one is even more concerning than the original. Now, the original problem I had with this is this does not come, this Wireless Go set does not come with a wired lavalier. This is the one from a filmmaker set, and that wasn't a big deal for me because I had this great $20. Um, lavalier that I really really like that I purchased on Amazon got it hooked it up and it sounded horrible horrible interference contacted road they have the a really good customer service the gentleman that was helping me was stating that it probably had to do with the cheaper lavalier now granted I use this for the filmmaker set and another um, set that I had with no issues at all um, they said that they tested it exclusively with the filmmaker lavalier micro microphone without any issues. So that's what I have here and they were correct. When I use the Rode microphone, lavalier microphone, those interference issues went away. But I didn't buy this to use a lavalier. Now sometimes I have to use a lavalier microphone, but most of the time um, I want to use the internal microphone because that's a claim to fame for this. You turn it on, it syncs up, it just works, it works easy, it works good, it works the first time every time. And then the microphone, it's actually got a really good microphone, about the same quality as like this Rode Lavalier here that runs for about $100. Now the problem that I've had recently is if I, if I have this Lavalier in it, um, it works fine. But the problem I'm having is with the internal microphone. It's, it's hit or miss. Um, I'll turn it on, I'll do a YouTube video, and I'll listen to it, and it's completely ruined. Again, interference, that's static. And um, I'm gonna do it, I just tried to do a video just now because Rode, I contacted Rode again, they asked for a video sample, and I'm like, well, I'll try it because it doesn't happen every time. Happened the first time, I grabbed the audio, send it over to road and I'm waiting for the response. So I'm gonna to try to hook it up here guys for you, but if it doesn't happen, um, I'm also gonna just play the track that I recorded about an hour or so ago. So here it is, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug. Right now you're hearing the audio from my Rode uh, Micro and um, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. Now we have the audio coming from the wireless go. I'm gonna clip it on my shirt. Um, so the, the static is probably maybe there, maybe not. That's the problem. If it was always there, I could, I could deal with that. But sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. It'll work for a few days. Then all of a sudden, the problem just presents itself again. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclip this. I'm gonna go back to my Okay, I'm back on my um, Rode Micro right now. So there it is, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play. If this didn't happen, I'm going to go ahead and play the, the soundtrack that I recorded, I don't know, like I said, about an hour ago. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. The other thing that Rode said is, is I complained about this little fuzzy thing coming off. This thing pops off in like two seconds. And I'm going to show you, if you guys got one of these, you know what I'm talking about. You push it on and then it like literally pops off. If I rate this thing a 1 to 10 as far as the ease of coming off, I'd say it's a 1. Um, I complained about that. I said, man, this it thing, I can't even use it because it pops off so bad. They sent a video. I'm going to put the video link in the description of this video because it did help. I'm not saying it's a great solution. They do. They did say that their team is working on a, a better uh, muff. And I have seen people um, uh, with early releases that it seems to work better. But what they said to do is you pull the fur back, right? And then expose those white teeth a little bit better. Then push it in and then give it like a wiggle so those teeth can expand a bit. Then from there, I'm blocking your, from there, night and day difference. I mean, I can, I have to pull it out. I'd say as far as tension goes, the traditional way that I was doing it was a one. And I'd say this is probably like if it goes in good and I wiggle it, 
like a six. So night, night and day difference. So if you guys have one of these and you're wondering how to get this, you know, little fuzzy wind windscreen to stick in there a little bit better, um, that's how you do it. You pull it back, stick it in there, give it a little wiggle, let those teeth expand, and then it'll be much, much better. And again, I'll I'll post or put in the description the official road video on how they describe and how to do it. So I did contact Road um, about this interference issue and I'll let you guys know because I know of you know my other video a lot of people commented about interference issues. I'm not alone here but I this is the first one I have heard of it coming out of the internal microphone. So I'd love to know if anybody else is having that issue and I will update you guys when I hear back from Road. So like always thanks for watching my videos guys. Have a good night. Take care.